Boxing King Media in association with Boxer. We've got six foot six giant all the way from Australia, Dempsey McQueen. Dempsey, how does it feel to be out here in London? Obviously on a matchroom show. Yeah, it's good, mate. Uh, my second fight under the matchroom banner as well, so looking forward to getting out there and getting the job done once again. So, uh, training's going really well. You know, spending a bit more time under Tony Sims and, and Peter Sims now too, where before I only had about two weeks before I had to shoot off to America. So, uh, yeah, sparring's going really well, and I'm, I'm seeing the, uh, you know, the experience of Tony and Mike and his guidance as well. So, it's uh, it's going to be a good show come March, uh, come February 27. Sorry. I'm looking at your record. You've had 20 fights. And there's a notable name on there, Johnny Rice, who recently uh, beat, um, you know, beat Yops, I can't remember his name uh, now, but... John Coffey, I think it was. John Coffey, yeah, yeah. So obviously he's beaten back to back. So that win looks quite good on your record. So, you know, do you take anything from that? Yeah, definitely. Uh, stopped him in the 10th round as well. I think he's only ever been stopped once before, and that's by that Makhmedov as well, and that was a standing stoppage too. He, he wasn't out on his feet at all, so I'm the only man to really stop him properly, and uh, he's a durable guy, and you look at some of his um, notable losses are only to you know, high-level guys and world-rated undefeated prospects as well. So, um, you know, it's, it's, of course, it's, it's a good scalp on my resume for sure, but there's, there's plenty more to come. For the British fans who may not be familiar with the Australian heavyweight scene, just tell us, you know, how many heavyweights is there? there you know, what kind of names can we look out for, uh, as well as yourself? Um, yeah, I think there's a few more guys coming through the ranks at the moment as well. But obviously, I'm the only world-rated heavyweight. We had Lucas Brown, the former world heavyweight champion, as well. He's uh, at the end of his tether a little bit more now. But um, you know, I'm the only world-rated heavyweight there, and um, you know, I base myself overseas, overseas now, and um, so I'm with Matcher in boxing. So you know, the future's looking bright. Obviously, matchup have signed a lot of Australian and you know some fights from New Zealand as well. What is the sort of vibe in Australia, you know, about matchup and what they're planning to do over there? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, Eddie's looking at um, hosting a show there. Hopefully, in the spring this year, um, I'll definitely be on that card once he does. You know, set up out there as well. But yeah, there's a lot of other Aussies. You know, doing callouts, tagging Eddie, and a lot of Instagram posts and everything as well, trying to get signed by Matchroom because they know that you know Matchroom is coming to Australia and they're probably going to need some more fighters. So they're doing everything they can to, to get noticed, and you know they're going to have to put away some good wins and good knockouts to hopefully get noticed and get signed by Eddie and Matchroom. Obviously, you've had 20 fights. I believe you're 31, if I've got that right. 31? Sorry, sorry. I'm 31, yes, 31 years old. So, yeah, so I got that right. So what are your aspirations? You know, I mean, how quickly do you want to progress? You know, what's your plan for, with Matru? You know, once we get through this next fight, we, um, we're looking at some big names, you know. There's a couple of names that I can't really disclose at the moment, but we're, we're looking at some big fights and we only want the big fights, you know. I'm, um, you know, I'm world ranked in WBO and IBF, you know, so we're, we're chasing those bigger fights. We've had some training camps under Tony now, a bit more experience under him. We want to just get that time to gel, but, you know, things are, things are going really well at the moment, training under Tony and, and Peter, you know. So, um, yeah, after this next fight, we're going to be looking at some really big fights. And the people that haven't seen you fight, what can they expect to see? You know, I mean, your style-wise, you know, what, what they can compare you to? Sharp, sharp, fast boxing. Yeah, I got some fast hands for heavyweight, um, some light feet as well, and yeah, it's just, um, not your typical heavyweight. Just likes to go in there and slug it out. You know, I add a bit of uh, technique to it, and yeah, some sharp hands, and and hopefully uh, put on a boxing clinic and entertain the fans. I've got to ask you. Obviously, you've got a direct connection. You're a heavyweight yourself. There's all these talks about you know Anthony Joshua apparently refusing a 90 million dollar payday um, for, for rejecting the Fury uh, step aside deal. What's your thoughts on that? Would you have took the step aside deal? Hey, you know, I think we can all say one thing, but when, when someone's um, you know waving a 19 million dollar check in, in front of you in front of your face, you know, so that could change anyone's. Um, you know, uh, opinion on, on the matter, but you know, so I think it's like you know, he gets the automatic shot at all the belts afterwards and stuff. I think that's just a chat he's got to have with his team and his coaches and what he wants and what's working best for him. And you know, does he want more time under a new trainer or what? So there's many many factors there, but yeah, just a hard one. I think it's a different choice for everyone. So, but yeah, it's a lot of money they're waving in front of your face. But I know he's definitely not short of a short of a dollar. But you know, so each their own, I guess. Just to wrap, wrap up, Dempsey, where can the fans follow you on, so, on your socials? Yeah, so um, mostly Instagram, just Dempsey.McKean. You can catch me on Instagram as well. It's got all my, uh, you know, a bit of training, all my upcoming fights, um, all that type of stuff as well, or Facebook as well, Dempsey the Tower McKean. Dempsey, thank you, and I wish you all the best on fight night. Lovely. Thank you very much.